WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN and all the gold bugs that are listening today, folks. We've got something historical happening here. We have the gold has had a $160 swing today, folks. We rallied up a little over $55 an ounce, and then we broke 100 and how much have we been so far? It's been almost $100 an ounce, and uh, it maybe hasn't even stopped yet, but that's a big, big move. And with that kind of action, it certainly means something. Those of you that like the ABCD format, you'll see that it's listed here. And, uh, you know, if you were able to get filled up there, it was up there for about uh, 12 minutes. And unfortunately, my data was out during that 12 minutes, but that's neither here nor there. That's always the little man in the sickle that's behind me. But uh, other things that we did were looking pretty good. But anyway, this is what we're watching here. The stocks are down slightly, very slightly. From uh, where we were uh, on Friday, s and is down about 40 handles, and the Dow Jones was down about 150, as I last checked. If this is correct, and I think that it might be, that analysis that we looked at for a top to come in late December, or excuse me, early December, late November, may still be in play. But, uh, you know, it's still early, folks. This thing could turn around and close much higher on the day. I don't think it'll do that, but it certainly could. That's uh, some of the things that we're paying attention to here. Also, crude oil prices have dropping have dropped have dropped hardly, <laughs> folks. <I've laughs> crude oil prices have dropped substantially again. We were down about another one and a half percent. We didn't quite break the 72 level. We got down there and then we rallied back to 73 and change where we're trading right now. But uh, crude oil is beginning to get a little iffy on the bullish side because. It just keeps dropping and dropping. It doesn't make any difference how much the news pops up. There's still bearish to crude oil. Stocks, like I said, are relatively holding up relatively well. Nothing really dramatic going on here. But if this cycle that we're looking at is correct, we should be down for the rest of the day. Those of you folks that like the 382, and I know most of you do, we're sitting right there, right now in the E-mini S&P at 45.75. That is the number. 382 is what it'll do. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 